the basic challenge is this is this basic question of who owns the city who has a right to be in the city who has a right to talk about the city and who has a right to intervene in decisions on what the future of the city is going to be so really it's the challenge is that the classic patterns of exclusion and inclusion which have been shaping society in india are replicated in terms of physical exclusion and inclusion within cities and the way in which these standard processes of exclusion and inclusion are interacting with forces that we've seen you know coming to a head in the last 10 years is creating new patterns within cities the way policy defines the ideal citizen is uh, the ideal citizen is a man of a particular class of a particular caste of a particular occupational band and so on and so forth uh the way in which physical space in the city is organized the way in which the economy of the city is organized to completely exclude the the care economy and all of that part of work which never comes into market transactions and money no it's it is the assumption that work is work that is done for money and work that is done in the market and primarily work done by men no so so many of the assumptions behind urban planning themselves exclude women by constructing the average in a very male way in a patriarchal framework it's these definitions who is the citizen what is work you know it's definitions of who you are who you are doing things for and what you are engaging with which really exclude women so for instance this what is what is known now because of the work of several feminist economists as male breadwinner bias the assumption that the family income is basically by the basically through the work done by the man who is the head of the family and that all the work done by women and all the income that comes from that is somehow subsidiary so if you if you start from that assumption then the entire informal economy which is hugely the place where women are working the entire care economy which is almost exclusively a feminine space becomes left out of the uh, dialogue on markets Uh, how do markets shape uh, work market forces the whole tone and tenor of that changes so it really is structurally embedded patriarchal frameworks within economics within planning within urban studies which are designed to exclude uh, women's perspectives women's experiences women's women's uh, priorities and so on what's encouraging about an initiative like iihs that it very clearly recognizes that the people who are legitimate actors in planning have ways of thinking and mindsets which replicate exclusions in ways that tools and methodologies cannot deal with i mean you can use a participatory planning tool or methodology in a completely participatory way but nevertheless replicate exclusions and biases so i what i found really interesting over about the conversations in the last two days is that implicit recognition that this is something we have to address